we're gonna print a relief print. This one is uh, Blick Blue, easy to use, easy to cut linoleum. And I've got red paper set up and I've got brown ink is what I've chosen as my ink. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write my name on my papers. I picked out three red papers because I wanted to print brown on red. You could pick a couple different colors or you could just stick with this. All right, looks like I grabbed too many. And next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this craft stick and I'm gonna kind of stir my ink around a little bit and then I'm gonna run a line across the top of this piece of plexiglass. Not very much, because we don't want a lot of ink on that plexiglass to just sit and dry. So then I put the lid back on top, and I'll just stick this on top here. Next, I'll take my brayer and I'm just going to tap a little bit to get some on this and then I will roll it back and you can see I let it spin and so it starts to uh, get that covered. I don't want to go back and forth with it. I want to just one direction, let it spin. Sometimes I go this direction. You can see I'm starting to get a thin layer of brown and I've got this here is still a, lot, a thick line of ink, but I'll save that for when things start to get dry. Now that I've got the ink evenly spread on my brayer, I haven't gotten it over the entire uh, plexiglass, I can start to run it along my printing plate. So I did a couple strokes in the vertical direction, re-ink. I'm gonna go horizontally now to make sure every little area is covered. And then I'm going to just very carefully place this right in the middle so I have nice little margins here. I'll press this in and then what I'm going to suggest doing is turning this over and kind of burnishing it with your fingers. Now, uh, if you have rice paper, this is construction paper, a lot of people use a barren or a wooden spoon. We're just gonna go ahead and use our fingers and then we just simply peel that print away and we've got one. It looks like I could have uh, gotten a little more ink on there, so that's why we go back and we print some more. First print doesn't have to be perfect. We're just learning this process. Ah, that one turned out much nicer. All right, so I've got one.